And this turtle, this turtle's coming right up to me. Are you rolling? Yeah. Look at this. Amazing. Nature and all its beauty. Speaking of beautiful, welcome to Caltech. Okay, Caltech. <laughs> Hey guys, James with TFB TV at the most magical place in Florida, not Disney, but Caltech, just outside of Orlando in Cocoa, Florida. Great time to visit, middle of August. I mean, perfect time. Nice, cool, crisp day. Just kidding, it sucks and I already have swamp bass. Let's do a tour. Intro, done. This is Caltech's shipping and receiving warehouse. Caltech's set up where it's a series of massive warehouses each housing its own operation. This is the shipping and receiving warehouse. This is where all the raw materials come in. I wish I could show you guys, well, I mean, I guess we literally will with the camera, but show you guys how cavernous, how large this warehouse is and all the stuff that they keep here. So this is all the raw materials. They get cut down to size in the machines here so they can be prepped to be put in the machines, in the milling machines, in the CNC machines, in the other warehouses. Let's have a look. KSG shotgun tubes, barrel material, quite a bit of it. And it's funny, you know how things are going right now with the market. This is actually low stock for them. Now we're here in the Alps. They call it the Alps, the automatic lathe production sector of Caltech. They moved all of their autonomous lathes all their CNC machines, all this stuff, into one big warehouse. They still have some machines spread out throughout the, uh, the facility, but right now this is for the autonomous lathes, kind of where they have everything collected. These are the machines that mill down that bar stock that we just saw in the other warehouse into smaller parts. Like for example, this lathe right now is making safeties. It's those smaller things, smaller pieces that need more detail. And that's what they use these machines to manufacture. Guys, check this out. This is all really cool. So now we're here in the Caltech corporate offices. I'm just kind of walking around. Met this guy. I think he's the boss here. I'm not sure. Hi, James yes. Reeves. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, he seems pretty important. I'm here in the main machining shop with Christian. We're manufacturing what? KSG barrels right now? Yep, KSG barrels right now. So they start right here in this material. See, it's already drilled out, cut to length. All we have to do to load them in the machine is you just place it right here in the front half of this machine, and then it'll get to work. So as soon as it starts up, you'll see that it's coming and cutting off the front to make sure there's no excess link on this here. This way it's got plenty of clearance. Now it's gonna start turning down the front side of this barrel. So I'll give you one for a demonstration. It's taking this and turning this down to the proper diameter right here. It's gonna cut from the inside this little taper here for our headspace. It's coming and cutting in that taper. Once that is done, it's gonna start putting the threads on the chamber side of the barrel so it can attach to the mating part. This machine is after it's done threading right there. It's gonna lock the barrel into place and gonna start spinning a small little sharp end mill. It's gonna start cutting these slots here on the chamber side of the barrel so that the mating part can attach. So this one machine does it all? Does it all. And how long does it take to get from this to this? Four minutes and 46 seconds. Holy From this right here to this. So you can feel the weight difference here between them. Oh yeah. So now we're moving from warehouse to warehouse. As I said, this is like a big series of warehouses. When you look at Caltech, it looks like a company that rapidly expanded, you know? There's just warehouse after warehouse after warehouse after warehouse set right here in lovely Cocoa, Florida. Shit, it's George. Act natural. <laughs> Ooh, we're probably gonna get in trouble for this, huh, Matt? Yeah, we actually have to turn around. Do we really? Right now we're in the welding warehouse. Caltech says this is where miracles happen. And that isn't like a euphemism for like where they start making their cool guns, which it is because 
This is really where the shotgun starts here. All the KSG shotguns really start here. But they say this is the place where miracles happen because it's a monotonous task and it has to be done to perfection over and over and over and over and over. So what happens is they weld everything together here. Like for example, you have the shotgun tubes getting welded to the housing, trunnions getting welded to the housing here. Then it has to pass inspection. So all these guys have to do everything the exact same way however many times a day over and over and over to make sure that they're turning out the exact same product every time. Now we're gonna go into coating, which looks and sounds like a fucking crawfish boil. Remember, we started off in shipping and receiving where they receive all the raw materials. Then we went to machining and CNC. We saw them cut up the materials welding where they weld it together then it goes to coating or it could go slightly out of order it gets parkerized or it gets blued or whatever then it goes to sub assembly and then finally final assembly appropriately named my eyes are burning a little bit after that coating factory visit is that normal yeah that'll, that'll pass after a few minutes. <laughs> This is the sub-assembly room. This is actually one of the coolest places at Caltech. Everybody always asks, why can't Caltech turn out product fast enough? This is like little Switzerland in the middle of Florida. 10 people in this room in one eight-hour shift a day turn out 240 Caltech KSG sub-assemblies. That is like essentially the completed receiver. It's absolutely amazing. The efficiency here is incredible. If you do the math, I think that's one KSG subassembly every two minutes. I'm here talking to Kim about what the subassembly process is. Kim, explain to everybody what subassembly is. Basically, we go ahead and we build the barrels, the receivers to move over to final assembly so they can go ahead and proof shoot them. And then from that point on, they get shipped out. So we build them from the beginning to the end. So it looks like this when it comes to you, Correct. right? This is a KS7. Can, correct, that's a KS7 receiver. Once it comes here, we put all the internals in and then we send it off to final assembly. And when you guys send it off, I'm, I'm afraid to mess with it. It's okay, you pull one out. And then this turns in to this whenever it's done with subassembly. And correct. you guys, like I said, I mean, you crank out one of these every two minutes. Correct. Well, it's a beautiful thing. It's a work of art, I would say, Kim. Thank, thank you, you so much for having thank us. Thank you, no problem, it's a pleasure. No, 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 sorry. So this is the Keltec R&D lab. Obviously, we're not allowed to go in there. I'm dead serious. No cameras allowed in the R&D lab for obvious reasons. Keltec being one of the most innovative companies out there, they've always got new ideas. Let's go somewhere else before I get removed from the premises. Right now we're in final assembly. This is where the guns are finally assembled. Then they go to shipping, they get packed up, they get shipped out. Basically here, when it's done, it's done. We've got Jordan with us. Come on back, Jordan. Jordan, his claim to fame is, uh, we, we've been told, he's one of the fastest assemblers that they have here for final assembly. And we have a Caltech KSG, right? Yes, yeah, that's it. And you're so good that you're gonna do a blindfold. I'll do a blindfold. Let's see it. There you are. <laughs> Holy shit. Jordan, up high. That was pretty freaking incredible. Do we actually get it right? That feels like a KSG to me. 
Jordan, well done, man. Well done. That was impressive. No sh That was impressive, man. We're in QA, quality assurance. This is where they check a sample size of the parts and the components manufactured on the factory to make sure that they meet specification. What's your sample size for QA? Depending on how many bins there are, you add up all the parts for every bin, you square root it, divide by the bins, and you add one. Did you guys understand any of that shit? I didn't. Ah, uh, listen to that sound. Test firing. Every single gun at Caltech gets test fired before it's sent out. Andrew, what's up, man? Good to see you as usual, dog. As I said, every single gun that they manufacture gets test fired back there on that range before it gets sent to final shipping, shipped out. Something you might not think about whenever you're looking at the cost of a gun is the cost of the ammo needed to test fire it. kel has just, for 12 gauge shotguns, 160,000 rounds of 12 gauge on hand at any given time for test firing. Now we're in shipping. This is truly the final step. This is after the guns have been test fired right there. Then they get packed up here, as you can see all around us. Then loaded on a truck on the other side of the wall and then to your local gun store. It goes in here, guys? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, right in there. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for the tour. Thanks to Keltec for having me. Stay tuned. We'll bring you more TFE TV.